everybody, welcome to May Favorites. I have so many favorites, so no intro. Let's just hop into it. A comedy special that Michael and I really enjoyed. I've recommended it to a few people, a few of you on Instagram, and everyone has come back and said, great comedy special. It's on Netflix. The comedian's name is Vas Deer. He is a superstar in India, where he is from originally. And what's amazing and cool and different about this comedy special is that half of the video is filmed in a sold out stadium in India. And then the other half is filmed in a very small nightclub in New York City, because while he's huge and mega famous in India, not so much in the United States. So it's kind of a neat dichotomy and it's definitely funny, but it's also kind of more of a, a thinking person's comedy special. So I highly recommend it on Netflix. In conjunction with the 20th wedding anniversary coming up, Michael and I are taking two trips in July. So the family trip, we are going to Alaska. We're taking, oh, actually we're going to Seattle. We're taking a cruise out of Seattle to Alaska. And so in preparation for that, I am rereading um, a mystery series that I love. And it started with, it is, I'm all over the place this morning. I had a lot of coffee. Okay. The mystery series is the Kate Shugak, his main character, mystery series. And it's, the author is Dana I think it's Stabenow is how you pronounce her last name. Stabenow, Stabenow. And um, the latest book in the series, I think it's number 21 or 22, came out recently. So I read that and then said, hey, let me refresh my memory because we're over 20 books into the series. So I just started rereading the series from book one. I'm on book four now. And um, like I said, it's set in Alaska in a small village. The main character's name is Kate. She is sort of like a private investigator is the best way to explain it. She is a native Alaskan of Aleut descent. It's really interesting. Alaska is definitely a main character of the book. So highly recommend it. She has written a second series with a different main character, but this is the, the big one. I talked about this in a vlog and I wanted to give it a favorite and a um, update. This is laundry detergent, but this is not your average laundry detergent. It is the Glamorous Wash. It's made by the Tyler Candle Company. If you're a big fan of Tyler Candles, they make a laundry wash or laundry detergent. I have it in the scent Diva. It also comes in high maintenance and it might come in others. It's not inexpensive. This little guy is just under $30. However, let me explain how I figured out how to use this based on the advice of many people. Um, the first time I used it, I used it full strength without any detergent and it was lovely and the smell is not overpowering. However, because this is very expensive, I wanna stretch it out. So on the advice of a few friends, there's two ways that you can do this. Um, the way that my friend who has been using this for years and the one who recommended this to me in real life said is she puts it in a rinse cycle and I have been doing that and it, it works great and I don't really notice a huge difference in the scent. The other uh, way that a lot of you have recommended, and I've tried this as well, is just to use one or two capfuls in your um, liquid um, detergent dispenser and mix it with uh, your regular detergent as well. In my case, I've just been throwing my Tide Pods in, which are not unscented, but for some reason, it's the, the scent from the Glamorous Wash is not getting canceled out. Ideally, um, I think the best way is one or two capfuls of the Diva Wash with um, unscented detergent would probably be your best bet. And then I found another thing I'm gonna buy. I'm putting it in my favorites already. Um, <laughs> I haven't even used it. Just to extend it, they make dryer sheets too. So um, the scent is very unisex, even though it's called Diva. I've been using it on everybody's clothes. The boys, mine, towels, sheets. It's amazing. I wish I could wash the dogs in it, but that, that's not a good idea. So. Um, <laughs> Just joking on that. So I love it, I cannot stress enough how awesome it is. There is a much larger version. It's like, I'm not even telling you how much it is. There's a lot left in this. And there um, are also gift size, like a gift pack if you wanna do a little sampler. Um, I can, it's just changed laundry for me. I love it and I smell so good. Okay, um, next is um, a clothing item that I'm not going to show you. So um, in my search for more bras to add to my collection, now that I know my real bra size, I found the most amazing bra, which I'm wearing right now. It's the Notori t-shirt bra, and it's very similar to the other Notori feathers bra, except it has no lace or anything on it, so it is perfectly invisible under your clingier clothes or your knits that would show, um, a, a bra would show through. So I'm wearing it now. Yeah, it's awesome. Love it, very comfortable. Sizing is very um, the same across the board, so I am the same size in all the Notori bras. Yay, these earrings. 
I cannot stop wearing these earrings. These are the beaded Crispin drops. They're at Bobble Bar and maybe Nordstrom as well. I'll have to double check. Um, yes, they're long. I love this blush color. It's incredibly neutral. It goes with pretty much everything you could wear, but because they're made out of tiny little plastic beads, they weigh nothing. Love them. And then this is a summer staple, just so you get the basic idea. This is a linen, very casual blazer that comes with the sleeves cuffed. It has pockets, hang on. It has pockets, ignore the sweatpants and stuff that you can probably see. Um, it has pockets and it is the most comfortable thing. I got it at Nordstrom, it's by the brand Caslon. I believe it also comes in like a chambray version, but I love this white for summer to throw over sundresses. I keep it in my car because it's hot outside, but it's over air conditioned inside, so it's a great layering piece. My new favorite bag, oh, this is from Gigi New York. It is the Grace Satchel. It is everything I want in a bag. You can, it has an outer pocket. I can fit everything I want. It has a zip top. It has a crossbody or shoulder strap. It is the perfect bag. It has feet on the bottom so it doesn't get dirty. I love her. She comes in this beautiful oyster color, which let's face it, is light gray and other colors as well. But this is gonna be a year round one um, and I adore it. I will do a what's in my bag in June, but I just had to throw that in there. Thank you to Gigi New York for sending it to me. But oh, this bag is just the bag I've been looking for, I think, my whole life. You're going to get sick of seeing it. And then the last kind of non-beauty thing is a little present that Michael got for me. And it's, <laughs> I have just one of these. It's from Kendra Scott. I really need to do a Kendra Scott collection video, I know. Um, this is the Elisa necklace. And I love this color combo. I have a silver, this, these earrings in silver. Um, instead of gold and I noticed that I rarely reach for them because I really just wear gold more It's a gold necklace with the black Druzy stone in the middle and I just it's so delicate and pretty for um, Summertime and it's very neutral and it goes I could have worn it with this, but I don't want to overwhelm you if you're still here Let's go for the beauty stuff. So beauty related This was recommended to me by a blogger that I met and I now consider a friend at the reward style conference Her name is Kathleen Jennings. I'll put her blog below and she did a whole post on um, Masks and prepping your skin for a big event and I actually had this in a drawer and hadn't used it yet It's by Sephora and it's the pearl sleeping mask not the sheet mask the one that comes in a little pod They're four bucks um I've been prepping it, to using it to like moisturize a little bit more now that I'm using Sunless Tanner and my skin is luminous and hydrated and it's not breaking me out and I love that it's four bucks and I am holding this because I've used it three times and there's still enough left in here for one more use. So four uses, four dollars, very good deal. This was sent to me by Urban Decay and um, I am going to be doing a giveaway for Urban for what else they sent me, but I'm gonna be doing that on my Instagram account. So if you're not following me on Instagram, uh, you should. And I'll put that, there'll be something to click on here and down below. It's, they sent me all three naked palettes, all three of them. I'll be giving those away. But what I'm not giving away is this oil that actually came with it. Um, this is a perfume oil and it's called Urban Decay Go Naked. If you like the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess scent, but you just want a little more citrus, a little more fresh summery scent, this is the little roller ball. It is amazing, I can't stop. Like I just keep rubbing it all over. The scent lasts, it's very fresh, it's very summery. Um, it's a little warmer and I'd say a little more hint of citrus than the Bronze Goddess. I think a little more wearable personally. I love it. Now let's talk lips. There's been two different lip combos I've been loving all month. One is very neutral, one is very bright. So let's address what's going on right now. Um, Ruth Crilly, another YouTuber that's in my probably top five of favorite YouTubers, um, recently did a post on her website about rediscovering lip liners. And I have a lot of lip liners lying around and I never use them. And her point was that as we get older, our, uh, our actual natural lip line tends to kind of fade. So I have been using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Naked. And um, what I love about it is that um, there are a million shades. You will find the perfect shade for your lips in the Urban Decay line and it's very creamy and it goes on very well and it stays put. It lasts, it will outlast your lipstick. What I don't love is that it, because it's so soft, you pretty much have to sharpen it every time you use it. That's kind of annoying, but I love it. What I've been pairing it with, luckily, is the Urban Decay Naked Lipstick. It's a very neutral, wearable, 
uh, like kind of a warmish neutral pink. I'm wearing it right now. Obviously they go well together. They're the exact same name. They're, they make a great lipstick. It holds up really nicely. I forgot how nice the Urban Decay collection is. I've been shopping my stash and this is what I came up with. Another oldie but goodie that I've been wearing kind of nonstop and I'm about to buy another shade. If you like the idea of liquid lipstick but you hate that shrink wrapped dry feeling on your lips and you do still want gloss and you don't want to look like a corpse, this is the original, as far as I can tell. YSL Yves Saint Laurent Beauty created the Glossy Lip Stain. I have been wearing this for years and years and years. My all-time favorite shade is number 15. I believe it's Rose Vinyl. And it is a bright, wearable, warm pink, but not like over-the-top pink. And what I love about it is it's very long wearing, but it still has gloss to it, so you don't look dead and it's not drying. And they have a million shades. And the one that's on my radar is, I think it's called Watermelon Pink. On the opposite end of the cost spectrum for lips is a lip gloss I can't get enough of. Again, recommended, not to me personally, but I saw recommended on Instagram by another favorite blogger, um, Jen from Bu Addiction. Bu Addiction? Can never pronounce her Instagram, but I will link it below. And it's new from Maybelline, and it's a point I want to bring across. It's the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Unreal. It's more of a brownie, um, lip tone, natural lip. The point about this lip gloss, other than the fact that it's great and it lasts a really long time and it's opaque, all the things that I look for in a lip gloss, is that she let us in on a little secret, Jen did. A lot of makeup brands release their makeup on Amazon before it's available in stores, at least the drugstore ones do. So this is not in stores yet, but it is on Amazon. I talked about this shade in my um, Nordstrom Beauty video, which I will link. But um, this is from Chanel. It's the Chanel Illusion d'Ombre um, Cream. They're basically cream E shadows. I don't know that they're actually cream, but it's like a cream to powder. And the one that I um, particularly love and picked up for the Nordstrom Beauty video is in the shade, it's gold, okay? Let's just say it's gold. Um, and the name is something completely unpronounceable unless you actually speak French. I think it's Convoitis, but it's number 90 and it's gold. This is not the first one I have. Um, my absolute favorite shade that I bought years ago is number 82, Emerville, Emerville. And I just wanted you to see, it is completely crumbled, it is dried up, and yet it still works. Dip that brush in and smear it across your lids. These shades have a shimmer to them, a gleam without the glitter. They are long lasting, they are non-drying, they look so beautiful, it's just a wash of color across the lid, which is pretty much how I've been wearing these two non-stop. I am gonna replace this with a new one eventually, but I can't justify getting a new one because this one still works amazingly well, even though it looks terrible in the packaging. And then on the other end of the beauty uh, price point is a palette I've been using pretty much non-stop. I don't know if I mentioned this in favorites or not, so I'm gonna make sure it gets mentioned again. I picked this up at Ulta. Um, it's a collaboration with BH Cosmetics and um, Lindy, what's her YouTube name? Bubsy Beauty, Bubs Beauty. It's this cute little cardboard, very handy for traveling. I brought this with me when I traveled up to Austin recently. And this palette is just, you'd think I wouldn't wear every shade, but I have worn and wear every single shade in this palette, even like the bright purple. They're very wearable, it's very neutral at the same time very easy to work with. Um, I love them. I'm wearing it today and I took the Chanel gold shadow and just patted it on the lid on top of what I was already wearing. Just, um, you know, I just used all the brown shades basically, or many of the brown shades here. Absolutely love them. And then finally, lastly, are you still here? Um, I mentioned this, I think in the beauty favorites and, or the Nordstrom Beauty video, and I just want to make sure again, I get why everyone loves it. This is this is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. It came in a set. Um, it's a really well-priced set. The set included this, a pretty good size of the translucent powder, loose powder, and then a candlelight highlighting powder, which is stunning also. Um, and this is now my go-to under eye setting powder. It's nothing to see. It's a, it's a white powder that goes on completely clear. It's more finely milled than any other under eye powder I have tried, Makeup Forever. MAC Prep and Prime, ELF, 
There's no sparkle, there's no shimmer, even though when you swatch it on your hand, there seems to be. Under the eye, it just brightens. It's magic, and now I get it. So, love this. Especially need to set um, a little more heavily now in the summer because when I have my sunglasses on, I do sweat right here. So this helps keep everything in place. So, that is my 700 minute long May favorites video. A lot to tell you guys about, but it's been a great month. And June, oh my gosh, June might be the best month of the year for 2017. We have Jake's 19th birthday. We have Shane's 16th birthday. We have Michael and my um, 20th, that's great grammar, mine and Michael's 20th wedding anniversary. Also the same day as Shane's birthday. We have Father's Day. Um, is that enough? I think that uh, Shane finishes school. Yay, he's almost a junior. So much going on in June. Um, so stay tuned, keep watching. Um, great videos planned for next month. So uh, I hope you will stick around and watch. If you are not subscribed, please do me a favor and do that. And also click the little bell next to subscribe so you get notifications when my videos come up. Generally speaking, it's Sundays for vlogs, Tuesdays and Fridays for regular videos, and any sponsored videos I do are bonus videos, so they will not be on a regularly scheduled day. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.